Hey everyone, it's me Heather. Thanks for turning in to this video. So in this video today, I'm going to talk about the child care leave payment and how it works. Because I had tons of questions about this um, because I am the only jet or working parent in Japan. So I didn't know if I'd even be able to financially be able to survive. Um, Cause people always say, can you survive on one jet income? Well, now can I survive with no jet income? Um, all right, so here, I got all the information to go over with you guys. All right, so the way it works is like, for example, if you are a first year jet, this is your base, uh, first year, sorry, third year jet, this is your base pay right here. So with that being said, um, I'm now a fourth year jet, so I've gotten a pay raise, um, but this was um, what I was getting paid before I went on maternity leave. So this is my base pay. Now, after you take out all your deductions, so for example, your social insurance, which is like 39,942 yen, um, your unemployment insurance, which is 975, yen and your taxes, which um, this is for um, American jets after your third year, you start paying taxes. So 7,820 yen. So after all said and done, this is how much you actually take home per month on the jet program in your third year. So um, 276,263 yen. Now with this being said, the way I had heard about the child care leave was that it worked, was you have your um, six weeks prior to your baby delivery, and then you have the eight weeks after the delivery, and then starts child care leave. So your maternity leave, your six weeks prior, and your eight weeks after your baby's delivery, you will get 67% of your gross pay. That is a huge difference because like I said, we have $48,737 taken out of our paycheck every single month. So gross pay is before that. Gross pay is going to go based off of this number right here, your base pay for JET. So when you take 67% um, of your gross pay, it's a lot higher than that amount, which is after taxes that goes into your bank account. Now, after the, your six weeks prior, eight weeks after, you then start your child care leave if you are eligible for that. If you're eligible for your child care leave, it will also be at 67% of your gross pay, but it'll be for six months. After your six months, then for the next six months after, will be at 50%. All right, so let's give you the number. I honestly had no idea how much. I tried calculating and I still was just like, I think I'm making a mistake, I wasn't sure. So I have the math, I have the documents so I can actually like show you guys. Um, so it's a little bit reassuring. Okay, so for example, um, I'm going to show you, this is the pay stub that I got from the city. Um, this covers August 27th through October 31st. So in my specific situation, that is my six weeks prior to my daughter's delivery and about three and a half weeks after her delivery. So this was for 66 days. This is how much I got paid. So 410,520 yen, which basically equates out to 3,748 US dollars. That's what I had gotten paid, direct deposited into my bank account. This was a lot more than I was expecting. I got this on November 19th. So the pay period was, like I said, August 27th through October 31st. And then I got paid on November 19th. Now, the other thing is, is that to get this, your office has to file paperwork. So I'm going to add all the links and everything down below and the pictures and show you all of that. So first things first, while you are pregnant, there is uh, a paper that you probably want to have them already printed out, your office already have them ready. So when I was in the hospital, I specifically brought this paper right here, 
with me to the doctor's um, office. I had my husband bring it. And while I was in my hospital stay after my daughter was born, the doctor filled this out for me and then I was able to submit it to my office, um, which allowed me to be able to get this payment. Um, so the way it works is there's a section your doctor fills out and then the rest of the sections are from your office. And you take all those and you give those to your office. Your office is then going to take those documents and they're going to submit them to HelloWork and they're going to process um, the payment. So that's why in the video I mentioned before about if you're eligible for the child care leave on the JET program or as an ALT, the reason why I was asking about if you have been working with your company for one year is because that's, I think, the social insurance, social insurance, I think, and that's what helps cover you being out of work. So you took, you've paid into that for a year, and now while you're on um, your maternity leave and your child care leave, that's what's paying you back. So as, us as JETS and ALTs, we do not get paid by our office, by our job. We get paid by like the social insurance through HelloWork is my understanding. Um, so yeah, so basically you're gonna submit those documents to your office and then you're gonna have to like in con, so use your stamp and stamp some documents and sign some documents. So I had to do that a few times. I had to come into my office, I had to show them that. I had to show them my uh, Boshi Techo, your mother's book. Um, I gave all those to my office. They started the process for the paperwork. So from what my understanding, there's the paperwork for like this paycheck was for, like I said, prior to my daughter's delivery and a little bit after. And then now when you start child care leave, which I'm in right now, um, then there's paperwork that you can choose to do. I believe you can do it every single month. I've chosen every two months. Um, and my office had me sign like a power of attorney so that the office lady in my office could do the paperwork for me. So this way I don't have to drag my daughter and myself into my office every month or two months to fill out papers, sign, in con, um, and do that. So it's very convenient. So I'm happy I don't have to go do all that anymore. I can just come in to my office if I want to say hi and everyone see the baby. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the good news. That's how much the pay is. And I hope this helps everybody out. So like I said, it took basically like two weeks, almost three weeks after um, the, we submitted the paperwork before I got my first check and it was direct deposited into my bank account. So just know that it is possible and it can happen. And um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.